this quote by Doyle, he says, um, learning how to letter, becoming a better letter and drawing will make you a better designer, period. When you draw, you become a better designer because you're dealing with the same things. You have to deal with this sense of space. So you're dealing with spatial relationships. You're dealing with things, particularly when you're doing, say for example, a layout. You need a sense of, of balance and contrast, uh, the way the elements relate to one another. When you're doing a piece of lettering, you have to think in those terms as well. How does each letter relate to one another? Uh, do they work well together? Uh, does one draw too much attention to itself? If you're designing a layout, for example, you have to do the same thing. Maybe you want to emphasize uh, one part of it over another. You need to have an awareness, though, of how those elements exist in that space, how to uh, move them or shape them in order to get the result that you want. And you have to do the same thing within lettering. House Industries is a graphic design studio, digital type foundry, and it started in 1993. It was founded by uh, Andy Cruz and Rich Rote, who were working in an office together and um, figured that they'd be a lot happier working for themselves. So they started a, a company called Brand Design in, uh, in 1993 and um, they wanted to hire uh, another guy that they, they were working with, but they couldn't afford to pay him. So they made him a partner, that was Alan Mercer. The digital type scene really started to explode and house industries um, really took off. Lettering can stand on its own as a logo type uh, or something like that. Uh, it can also be used uh, as part of uh, a larger design application. So for example, if you have a layout or something like that, you may use a piece of lettering to uh, enhance uh, other design work. I don't have a formal lettering um, education. You know, it was something that I learned much on my own, or I would uh, try to meet folks who did lettering, learn as much as I could from them. It's something that doesn't really exist uh, within contemporary design education, having this kind of uh, sort of master-disciple uh, kind of relationship. That sounds like really kind of strange when you put it that way, but a, a teacher-student, let's say. <laughs> <laughs> a teacher-student relationship. It's something that's um, I think is really important and unfortunately it, it doesn't exist quite the way quite the way that it did before. Um, I think part of the reason is that people aren't interested in specialization so much anymore or they feel that they they can't afford to specialize that they need to be the, the master of all uh, crafts and and so they feel that they they need to be able to master graphic design and photography and, and lettering and even dabble in typeface design. I don't know how well uh, or how, how much you can achieve in all of those different disciplines. I think it's a rare person who can excel in all of them. So I, I think there still is a need for specialization and I would like to see it more within lettering and it's really wonderful now within typeface design there are a few schools that are specializing in typeface design. So it's great to see that. It would be nice to see lettering uh, return to schools as uh, something that uh, a person could, could specialize in, or at the very least have more than one class that they could, that they could take concerning lettering. Um, I think in order to be a, a, a good letterer, it, it doesn't hurt to have a firm background in um, type history. And much of the way, the, the way that I teach oftentimes is to have students reference typographic forms to make their own hand letter forms. And there are a couple reasons for this. Uh, for one, it's very difficult for someone who doesn't have experience lettering to just letter something out of the box. Uh, you don't have a place to, to start. So looking at typefaces uh, to create lettering is, is a really good place. It gives you a foundation. Um, also, most people are, are familiar with at least more 
common typefaces, let's just say, or common styles. So people are more familiar with that. So you're already starting on a sort of a firm footing where an audience would be able to at least identify somehow with the letters that you're creating. They may not pick up on it uh, straight away, but hopefully they'll see that there's this kind of underlying system to it. And that system can actually be used in, in hand lettering as well. One big challenge to being a letterer is the element of time and dealing with time and never having enough time to do what it is that you want. Uh, that's, that's always difficult. At, at House, we do so many self-directed projects. You know, we're our own clients. And many times we're our own worst clients because we're perfectionists. And probably like everyone else, you'd love to have more time to make whatever it is you're working on um, fit that idea, that, that perfect ideal that you have in your mind. And with lettering, it's, it's no different. And it seems like time is kind of a, a big enemy in that sense. Um, but um, yeah, I don't know how much, I don't know what you can do about that exactly.